What's up my fellow developers who've never done a leak code hard question. It's your boy, Michael. In today's video, I not only have one component library I'm gonna share with you, not two, but three fire banger component libraries that are just going to make your applications look amazing, flawless, and beautiful. That's what you're here for. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. So the first one is motion primitives. And we're just gonna get straight into it. I'll have all these linked in the description down below. Now, there's a couple of things that you find everywhere. They have accordions, um, you know, carousels, but here's the good stuff. First of all, the animated background. Check out the animated tabs. Look at that animation. Look how it just flawlessly has that bounce, has that spring. You have animated tam tabs that move at hover as well. You even have the cards. And one thing I suggest is when you see these components, uh, you know, you can copy paste the code, which is the beauty of it. I would highly suggest, you know, try customizing it. Now, for instance, for this one, for this animated card, I would probably have a border. I would have a border uh, with, you know, some roundness on the edges. And I would have each card have a border. And as I animate, I would probably maybe hide the border or maybe uh, change the intensity of the color, whatever it is, right? Be creative. Um, and have fun with these. And you have the carousels, which again, pretty standard, but these are cool right here. So that you can show like three at a time, which is pretty awesome. Um, they have these ones as well, where you have like the buttons in the bottom right corner. And, but my favorite and what really got my attention is these, this cursor, right? And I don't know if you can notice this, but the cursor has sort of this spring like animation the spring like effect where it's sort of delayed but in a smooth and nice way um you have these custom cursors here i like this one where like let's say you hover over christian church and then an image pops up i can think of a lot of cool ways to use that but here here's the sauce the dialogues or the modals when i click on this image look how that animates so nicely. Now, one thing I would do is again, I would copy paste the code and I would play with the bounce. I do think it could be a bit more smoother, but again, you ha you have code where all you have to do is just change the bounce and the duration and everything's been built for you. So the dialogues are where it's at. And then there's this one as well. Very smooth, very smooth. Again, I would tweak the, uh, I would tweak the uh, transition. And then you have this image right here. This I will probably add to my starter kit. I really like this, right? And the animation for this is very, very smooth. So the dialogues are pretty cool. What else? Then there's the in view. Like when you scroll down, you can see uh, different components. This is nice. The image one is nice. Let me refresh that. So if I scroll down, I love how the images pop up. Um, that could be a nice portfolio piece. And then the popover. I like that. I love the fact that, and I know if I looked at the code, I haven't looked at the code. I know technically these are two different components. Maybe I don't know if the person is really uh, taking this component and is expanding it, but you can use frame or motion to animate the one component being turned into the other one. And this is just beautifully done. So this is something you can add on your pages, on your websites, on your Next.js applications, simple copy paste. And then you have your text. Uh, effect pretty standard stuff but the tool bar pretty cool again has that nice spring animation so and then there's this other tool bar where when you click on it it pops something pops up right and i really like these simple animations uh and they give you the code so this is even a great way to learn how animations work test it out play with it and this is the first component library again motion primitives Really like it, very simple, link in the description. Second is Animata, 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 Ani Animata. I don't know why I did that. But Animata is cool because there are they, it has a lot of components that are very Apple-esque, right? And I'm not going to go through all of them because there's a lot, but the link will be in the description. There's a couple I'm gonna show you. First of all is the blurry blob background. So this, like this is giving startup vibe, startup SaaS vibe. So definitely something I would add, check that out. Another thing I like is the bento grids. Cause I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of a lot of the bento grids out there. I know a lot of people um, have a specific way of doing it. And a lot of people's bento grids look similar, but I really like the very colorful, like sort of playful bento grids, right? Like uh, the, these look like real bento grids to me, right? So I love the bento grids. They have 
um, this the playful style one, then this very gradient one, and then they have the again the Apple widget esque one, right? So love the bento grids, and then they have different buttons. The Duolingo one was kind of cool, so yeah, there's that. And then what I really liked was some of the charts. So they have the commit graph, so like you can maybe I might add this to my portfolio where I show my commit history. Um, standard bar chart but this can be like a widget thing on your site i like this one progress chart maybe for like something when you're out uploading a file or something like that pretty cool stuff and then the ring chart which is if you have an apple watch or maybe it's on the iphone as well i'm not sure um this basically tracks your progress i think it's for fitness or something like that so pretty cool and then what i really really liked was not the modal but the animated text, there's some cool ones here. So for example, this one right here is pretty cool. Let me, um, why am I on dark mode? Let me go on light mode because it looks better on light mode, believe it or not. Let me go back and then have this on light mode. Yeah, so you can have like different text pop up. So I like that cycle text looks really, really nice and simple. And again, a lot of these are just simple copy paste, right? I, I think we've got to the point in the industry where we're copy pasting a lot of these component libraries. The only thing you need to install is the underlying package that's needed. And then you have the scroll reveal, which is pretty cool as you scroll, like the text or the icons get highlighted. Pretty awesome. And then you have the ticker, which I really like. I think especially if you're doing like some sort of finance app with numbers, this is pretty cool. Like when I land on the page, having that sort of animation would be pretty sick. And then you have this right here for the more dramatic uh, feels. But this is not where the, this component library shines. It's with the widgets. I have never seen Apple-esque widgets done so nicely and so cleanly for the web. So there are tons of widgets, right? And a lot of these are so good, so nice. Like I, I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate this in my portfolio. But I just wanted to share this with you because I don't see people sharing this on the internet, so on YouTube. So again, these widgets look so clean and you have the code. Like for example, if I wanted to do the flight widget, again, I just install the underlying dependency. I like I create wherever I, the full, I, I create the folders where the file should be and then copy pasta. That's pretty much it, right? So. The widgets are what shine here. This is a very Apple-esque component library. So check it out. Again, the link is in the description. And last but not least, we have Lucacho. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I apologize. Again, your standard uh, component library. There are a couple cool things here, like the image swiper. I really like that when I hover on the image, I can see that there are multiple images I can go through. And then when I hover off, it's off. Pretty clean. I really do like that. And then you have this SVG chart for, you know, look would look great for a dashboard. So something to to have. And then you have this feedback thing. I think Versa has something similar to this where I really like it. Look how nicely that animated. Let's actually do that again because that was pretty clean. So if I click that there, this animates nicely. I can write whatever I want and hit submit. Um, I didn't. Even, oh, I didn't even know that was part of it. So again, all you have to do is copy pasta the code. And then what else do they have? Again, accordion, they have the custom cursor, uh, which is pretty cool. Background beams, no, nothing new here, but there is one thing that I wanted to share with y'all, the mock browser. And I think this is really one of those things where you can display what your product would look like or a dashboard would look like on your landing page using a mock browser. I've been trying to make my own and like, it just doesn't look as smooth and as nice as this one. So when I discovered this one, really really made me happy so again the mock browser is where it shines but there are a couple of other cool components that this library has but yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video if you're looking to build a next.js application and need a fire starter kit i'm not selling it to you it's completely free all you have to do is go to starter.rossmike.xyz the link is in the description below i would really appreciate if you went to the github and hit the star i'm trying to hit 10,000 stars by next week make sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on twitter the link is in the description i did enough promoting you did enough watching i thank you so much for being here i'll see you in the next video peace